Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Teacher Max. And today, gaya na nabasa nyo sa title ng vlog na ito, ay guest ako sa isang podcast. My very first guesting sa podcast ng isa sa aking mga good friends. Actually, dati ko rin siyang estudyante. Ayan, nakikita niyo siya ngayon. <laughs> very jolly like me, okay? So, ako ay mag-guest sa podcast ni Bro Romel Bautista. Ayan na. Dati kong estudyante, nung first time kong magturo, as in first year of teaching, kaya estudyante ko na siya. At nakakatawa naman dahil halos nagkapareho din ng konti yung aming path. No? Dahil siya ay naging English major. Ah, siya ay nag-English major sa USD din mismo at naging president ng Student Council. USD Educa Education Student Council. So, ang bongga, di ba? Para ko siyang mini-me. <laughs> mini-me talaga. Ayan, so let's welcome. Ayan, kahit sa podcast niya ako mag-guest, welcome din natin siya sa vlog na ito. Bro Romel. Hi, Bro Romel. Hello. Hello po sa mga nanonood, subscribers ng Teacher Max. <laughs> Ayan. At actually, maaring familiar sa inyo si Bro Romel dahil nag-guest na rin siya dati sa Tonight yes. Max. Kasi mayroon siyang Facebook page. Bro Romel, pakipromote ang iyong Facebook page. Yes po. The Facebook page is called How Is Your Heart? Kagaya rin po ng title mm -hmm. ng uh, podcast natin. How Is Your Heart? The podcast. Ayan. And uh, share with us a few info about yourself. Nasaan ka ba ngayon, bro? Yan, oo. Oh, oh. Hello po again to everyone. I'm currently in France studying philosophy and theology as a brother. And uh, yun, so part of the things that I do personally is to, yun nga, magkaroon ng mga social media platforms pa rin to spread some bits of inspiration sa mga taong nagpa-follow po sa mga pages po natin. Ayan. Yun. So, Ito na nga guys, no? this time mm -hmm. si Romel naman ang mag interview sa akin. Tama, oo. So, sa vlog na ito, makikita niyo ang ilang mga clips. No? Pero syempre, ang buong podcast natin ay ililink natin sa description ng vlog na ito para dumiretso kayo sa mismong Spotify. no? Sa Spotify, sa Spotify yes. Diba? We are streaming yeah, on Spotify. Sa, <laughs> yeah, ang podcast ng How Is Your Heart Season 3. Yes, three, Season 3 oh, diba? na, di ba? Congratulations. <laughs> Kalain mo yun. <laughs> diba? At syempre, huwag nyo na rin kalimutan i-follow ang How Is Your Heart Facebook page. Yes. Kung nyo pa na so, ito na, And nasa na TikTok, TikTok din po tayo. Nasa TikTok. Ay, How Is Your Heart din? <laughs> How is your heart, di ba? So, oh, diba? guys, no, tatangin mm. natin bawat isa. Kamusta ba ang mga puso natin? Oo. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, guys, sisimula na namin ni Romel ang podcast. Okay, so makikita niyo mga clips nito later on. And, syempre, di ba, i-click nyo ang description. Ang dis check nyo ang description natin at i-click ang, ang link papunta sa Spotify kung saan nakastream ang ating How is your heart podcast ni Bro Romel. Ayan. Yay! Thank you, abangan! Thank you! <laughs> So, welcome again to the listeners of How Is Your Heart, the podcast. At alam natin pagbagong taon, uh, things are unfolding. We are called to certain resolutions, certain changes. Diba? Parang may mga bagay tayong dapat talikuran, kalimutan, may mga bagay tayong dapat simulan. At minsan hindi yun madali because, you know, a lot of ourselves is... Um, is reflected by the things that we did, the things that happened in our past. So talagang paano ba? Paano ba natin sisimulan ang bagong taon ng, ng punong-puno ng pag-asa, di ba? At kailangan nating patuloy pa rin tayo nag hahatid ng mga kwento, ng inspirasyon, ng iba't ibang mga tao dito sa ating podcast. Ako, ako po nagpapasalamat dahil in the past months and years, you've been continuously supporting How Is Your Heart, the podcast. And ang guest natin ngayon, talaga namang pabuwe na mano ngayong bagong taon. <laughs> Ay, isang taong napakalapit din sa puso ko, di ba? He was my teacher and then eventually uh, we ventured in different projects in Rotarac and then he became of course a friend now, di ba? After sa lahat ng mga naging journey namin together. He is an educator, a teacher now in Japan, a vlogger and an influencer himself. Please welcome in this uh, season three of How Is Your Heart, the podcast, Mr. Erwin Makam. Hi, sir. Hi, Bro Romel. And hello, everyone, to all the listeners of How Is Your Heart podcast yes. of Bro Romel. Uh -oh. And congratulations to no, yung season three. Yes, yeah, season 3. Uh, How is your uh, heart podcast? Maraming uh, salamat sa pag-invite sa akin. <laughs> Sir, ngayon na uh, new year ganyan, 'di ba? Tapos parang ang daming nangyayari, 
but as ikaw, you are you're continuously working in Japan. How is your heart? Ah. <laughs> Kamusta <laughs> talaga? Po? Laging um, ganoon, oo, four months. Hindi na ako nasa andiyan, nakikinig naman ako ng nakailang listen na ako sa ibang podcast, lagi naman 'yun ang unang tanong. Oo, oo 'yun pa rin ang unang tanong. Hindi pa rin tanong. handa. <laughs> Di ba parang napapatigil so, tayo minsan kung natanong tayo niyan eh. So ikaw, sir, how is your heart ngayon? Oo. Oh. Ah, uh, siguro ngayon my heart is filled with joy, oh, 'di ba? Very poetic lang, mm-hmm. you know? filled with joy. Maybe if I may share simply because lately I receive a lot of blessings and uh, I've experienced some successes. That's why I believe my heart is filled with joy. And if I may elaborate on that a little. Yes, yes. Uh, so as you said earlier, I'm an influencer, no? feeling influencer. <laughs> <laughs> so you are. I just oh. recently reached the 5,000 subscriber YouTube Woo! milestone. Diba? Malaking bagay sa atin. Yes. Oh, 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 <laughs> Para sa isang small YouTuber. No? And at least uh, I'm happy because mas nag wide din yung reach ng YouTube channel at mas maraming matutulungan na Filipinos mm-hmm. who would like to become English teachers here in Japan. And the second one actually is I had a successful event. So I had an online exchange with my former school, Apex Schools. Mm. So the students of Apex Schools had an English conversation via Zoom with wow. my Japanese students. Mm-hmm. So it was so fulfilling to see my students, really Japanese students, really try hard speaking in English. Diba? Talaga napapractice nila yung mga pinag-aaralan namin sa klase. And nakakatawa dahil because It has become a way for cultural exchange then with the Filipino Dama. students oh. in Apex School. So, ayan. So, ayan. That's why my heart is ano, overflowing with ano, that's happiness. That's beautiful. And that's good, that, uh, <laughs> that's good to remind. It's good to remind our listeners to celebrate the milestones in our lives, little or big, di ba? Yung mga successes oh. natin, dapat yan sineselebrate natin kasi talagang it fills our heart with joy. And I'm sure later on in this podcast, we will detail and make more kwento about uh, these successes yes. and different things that you do that people see also uh, in your platforms online. But before anything else, because I ver- I, I introduce you in, in quite a personal way, eh, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there are many people, I mean, I mean many of our listeners still don't know you that much perhaps mm-hmm. so ikaw pag meron kang chance ipakilala yung sarili mo how do you introduce yourself I mean to our listeners who is mm-hmm. Erwin Makam mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> so Erwin Makam or more commonly known as Teacher Max yes. sa aking mga social media platforms and Actually, meron akong tagline na live life to the max. So, I'm someone yes. who tries to live life to the max and tries to really grab every opportunity that is presented to me. You know? But uh, just a few information. So, uh, I'm a graduate <laughs> of <laughs> my, uh, my alma mater, University of Santa Tomas. Forever yes. proud no, to be Go the Tomasian. Yeah. Yes. Yes, kami ni Romel. <laughs> Dugong Tomasina and, po. <laughs> ayan. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I'm an English teacher. I'm a, I was a student leader. And I used the, the experience being a student leader para i-continue, i-pursue pa yung service to others. And I, I used that to become, uh, as I became a member of Rotarac and Rotary. So I was a past president of uh clubs from Rotary Club of Manila Metro and the Rotary Club of Metro Escolta. Yes. So, isa po akong Rotarian. And so, yeah, student leader, Rotarian, influencer, <laughs> and maybe soon to be, uh, ano ba, celebrity. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. My journey, your inspiration journey was very much uh, a source of inspiration for many people. Um, The question is, what made you decide to get into it? Oo, paano, yung, paano nagsimula yun? Oo. So, for our listeners, uh, imagine a uh, mestizo chubby guy. <laughs> <laughs> Gano'n ko talaga dinis, ano, no? hmm. uh, ini, uh, dinescribe yung sarili ko. But uh, for our listeners, uh, I used to be like a very big person. I used to weigh 110 kilos. Uh, that was around 2018, if I remember it correctly. No? And 
actually during that time I was not really living a healthy lifestyle. Mm-hmm. When I say not living a healthy lifestyle, I I just like any other youth, diba? Talagang we did drink some alcohol. Mm. Uh, I did smoke before. And then there was, I, I was not on a diet. Talagang live life to the max then. <laughs> Anong difference nung hindi ka pa uh, nagkakaroon ng healthy lifestyle na ngayon that you are, you know, living a healthy lifestyle? Anong difference na napapansin mo or napansin mo? Yeah. Uh, Definitely, una-una physically, no? Mm-hmm. I, uh, I think I look younger. That's true. Physically, I... no? I look younger. I'm I, fresh. I, think I look better. Na. Yeah, I'm fresh, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, lalo na na, kasi dati, laging sinasabi sa akin na parang, ah, mukha kang bata kasi ang mga kasama mo, mga bata, mga sadyante, di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero ngayon, parang marami, oh, mas bumata ka pa kasi talagang, yun nga, nakatulong yung diet. Uh, parang, di ba, meron tinatawag na mga taog mukhang stressed. So, I don't mm. look stressed. no yeah. So, isa yun sa, I think, na contribution ng pagiging uh, health, na, na pagkakaroon ng healthy living. And then, siguro, mas naging active yung lifestyle ko. Mas lagi ako, mas naging on the go ako ngayon. Mm. So, when I say on the go, is parang, ngayon, I'm very much positive pagdating sa mga physical activities. Tsaka medyo, mas konti yung lazy time. Mm-hmm. Kasi dati nakakatamad eh. Parang pag kumain ka, tutulog ka na. Sarap matulog after kumain. <laughs> so ngayon, parang hinahanap-hanap ng katawan ko yung physical activity. So of course, there are days not perfect. No? There are days na talagang tatamarin ka. Ganyan. Pero ngayon, I'm more self-conscious and, and more aware na I have to stick no, to, to yeah. whatever uh, I have committed myself to. And then, Actually, ayun, pag, pagka-healthy living, hindi ko alam kung mahirap i-measure, pero parang mas nakakapag-isip ako na mas maayos. Mm-hmm. Uh, hindi ko mas, hindi siya ko mas siya ma-measure, pero, pero ganun yung feeling. And then, I, mas, think it's, mas, I think it's scientifically proven. People say that when uh-oh, you uh-oh. exercise, uh, yung process daw ng brain works uh-oh. better. Uh-oh. And it, it produces yeah, I, happy hormones, di ba? Yung working out. True. It, yeah. Um, I'm sure your followers agree that you're giving us this. And your students, people that know you agree that um, everyone knows you as this person like a tank full of joy. Parang talagang punong-punong. Wow. Oo, oh, yun yung, that's the impression that you're giving. But I know personally then uh, that your life was not exempt from challenges in different aspects of your life, especially in the family. I mean, I've heard that. I, you've, you've shared us to, you've shared this to us. Um, and, you know, some of our listeners are, many of our listeners are actually in this situation where, you know, different rifts in their friendships mm-hmm. or in the family or career, career issues, diba? Um, and uh, life was also not easy for you, but you remain to be a person with such positivity, uh, mm-hmm. joy, and uh, optimism. So tell us, how did you get by and what's the secret behind this joy? Uh, the secret is Jollibee. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> na na-miss na miss ko na. No? Oo nga, ako so, rin. <laughs> so actually, di ba kay Jollibee nga, bida ang saya. Yun kasi yung parang naging mantra ko, no? mm. na bida ang saya kay Teacher Max. No? And siguro I'm thankful because I grew up with an environment na very positive, very optimistic. So talagang, Uh, I'm thankful na hindi stressful yung kinalakihan kong environment. Kaya I think nag-add siya. Nakapag-contribute siya sa outlook ko sa buhay. Mm, mm. So, na I have channels na pwedeng puntahan kapag meron akong problema. So, I think yung if you're if we're talking about how did I get by, siguro one is uh, having that channel of communication with friends and family. Mm-hmm. Kasi, di ba, minsan mahirap sarilinin yung mga problema. No? So, I think it is good to have people who are there to listen. Sometimes kasi, kailangan lang natin na makikinig. Hindi nga sasagot eh. Makikinig lang. Di ba? Just for us to just let out, uh, let the things out, di ba? Uh, so, yun yung sigurong isang way na nakapag-get by ako sa mga problems is having people around me ready to listen and ready to affirm na what despite maybe mistakes or 
uh, gift mishaps na I made, eh, there are people who reaffirms my worth or my value na you can do, I'm, I can do it, I will survive, ganyan. And then, syempre siguro, definitely as Catholics, religious, our faith, di ba? Uh, I may not be the type of person who reads the Bible every day, uh, but I try my best. Uh, actually, uh, every day I pray the rosary kasi yun yung naging way ko of, ano eh, yun yung naging way of ko, way ko of communicating to the Lord. Mm. And, Uh, I try to do online masses. So, yung faith is strong despite not parang, how do you say it? Na parang talagang super holy yung dating. Pero I see that in Japan, you're serving sometimes also as a, as a reader, yes. di ba? Oo, oh, oh, oh. you found that community also oh, of Filipinos, oh. di ba? Oh. Yeah, so talagang yung faith, Uh, knowing that God is there, di ba? It's easy to question eh, kasi we don't see Him. <laughs> Pero, uh, ewan ko, I mean, I'm just thankful that I have this faith na I know He's there and He's always, what He's just doing, uh, preparing the plans, uh, preparing ahead no, what's for me. Ang tanong ko in the next is that, how has it transformed you, yung, ano mo, yung teaching experiences mo in school, in Rotaract, in Rotary, and now in social media. Oh, paano ka nababago at nabago ng mga experience na to? Actually, una, uh, the reason why I entered YouTube or joined YouTube pala is I wanted to pay it forward. No? So the reason why nakarating ako dito sa Japan is with the help of my college best friend sa UST. If not for her, I would have not known the opportunity, the opportunity na meron dito sa Japan to work here in Japan as an English teacher. And then, sobrang naging thankful ako dun sa process ng pagtulong niya sa akin. Mm. That and I felt na what uh, another way to to thank her is by helping other people, no? so to pay it forward. So yun talaga yung pinaka naging reason. And hindi na tayo bago sa pagtulong dahil sa Rotarac at saka sa Rotary, no? Mm-hmm. Pero, ang uh, isa sa nabago is, this time, mas nakikip, uh, dati kasi, sa pagkapumpunta tayo sa mga communities, we sh- sometimes we just do it once in a while, di ba? Then after we pro- we went to the community, tapos na, di ba? Unless it's a long-term project. Mm-hmm. Pero dito sa social media, because Every day we use social media. Every day we talk to the people. So, alam mo yun, mas yung the way I deal with people na bago rin. Eh. So, I think una yun, yun yung nabago. No? So, this time, I encounter people from all walks of life through the comments, through the feedback and the messages. So, actually, nabago niya yung, ano ko, yung ano ko rin, way of uh, talking to people. Mm-hmm. Uh, mas naging, ano, ano tawag dito? Dati siyempre meron na parang, alam mo yun, na parang, ah, I'm a teacher. Siyempre, you're, you're proud, di ba? Pero ngayon, mas naging humble ako. Mm-mm-mm. Mas nagiging, there's humility. Grounded. Talking oh, to oh. these people. Oo, oh, oh, grounded. Thank you for the term. You got the right term. Ayan. So, studya- <laughs> yeah. studyante nga kita. 